Angela here for One Day at a Time with Angela. I was thinking about doing something that I haven't done in a while, and it's what I eat in a day. Um, I'm starting it a little bit late. I just thought about doing it, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It'll keep me honest, help me stay in my 1,700 calorie goal. And it's fun. It's fun just to do YouTube videos. So I'm going to do one. <laughs> and I figured I'd show you a little bit of what's going on in my house, too, while we're at it. But anyways, I already had breakfast this morning. What time is it? See, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I ate breakfast already. I had two boiled eggs, a cinnamon roll that was 160 calories, and a, a cup of chai latte tea. So um, that's what I had for breakfast. And I put that into my, my fitness pal. Oh my gosh, and I didn't do the calories. Let's see, it was 240. It was, I think it was less than three, about 300 calories, but I'll tell you at lunchtime. When I eat lunch, I'll let you know what my breakfast calories were, but I think it is about 300 calories for breakfast, and it made my tummy feel good. I'm not hungry, and I feel pretty good. Um, so now I figure I'll kind of take you around and show you what life in the Melendez house is right now uh, with just everything going on in the house and kind of show you where we're at and what's going on with downstairs and upstairs and just a little bit of what I've been talking about. For those of you who have never been to my channel before, I'm a weight loss channel, but I throw in everything in my life that affects my weight loss and affects me emotionally. Um, so what happened recently was we had a flood downstairs. So we've ha we have all kinds of construction going on. It was, it was major. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where we're at in the project of downstairs and upstairs and just all the chaos we've been living in. Um, it's kind of funny if you think about it, but uh, we're just making do and doing the best that we can. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what's been going on. So we're actually upstairs at the top of my stairs and we made a little makeshift kitchen. We have our coffee, toaster, microwave, and then my husband brought this shelving from outside so we could have some food here um, and be able to make food here at the house. And then, so this is where I've been kind of warming up my little frozen dinners or easy warm up dinners. And then we just use this table for a prep station. Those are all the coffee grinds that's in that bowl there. Um, for my husband's coffee and then so yeah it's been crazy upstairs but this and it's just a little walkway see it's just a little tiny walkway to my bedroom and then it's the stairway so this is where our kitchen right now <laughs> um, my husband and I our anniversary is October 1st and I just got this gift from my mom uh, just love is patient, love is kind. It's 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. I love it, love it, love it. So I've got to take, I just got it, so i got to take everything off and kind of set it up. But I just wanted it up just because it makes me feel good to see it. Um, so let's go ahead and go downstairs to where all the chaos is. We're upstairs right now. Let me walk down here, give you guys a little tour of my house. Everything's pretty much off the walls, I think. We have stuff everywhere. <sighs> so, <clears throat> okay, front door. This is the living room. This carpet's totally coming out. We're gonna take the carpet out. Uh, the dining room, it's all dirty. I mean, dust and dirt everywhere. When I have a chance, I wanna clean it, but then the next day it gets dust and dirty just from the construction that's going on. So I, I need to get on top of that just because it's horrible to live in. But, so dining room's floor is gonna be all redone. Living room and carpet is going away. Um, and then, the big surprise, guys. I don't know if you remember my last video, but we had a room right here. There was a whole room here. And my husband told me, you know, we weren't planning on doing this right now, but in, you know, when our kids moved out, we were planning on taking this room down. But with this happening, my husband said, you know, if we want all the same floors, we're not going to do this again. We better do it now. So we had to make some move, big movements because it was my son's bedroom <laughs> for a thing. He's now has to share a room. But uh, 
we took this room down so that way we could have a big living area down here on the bottom. So let me, let me see if I can get it. So basically it's all, that's the old den. Remember where I would work out? If you saw my workout videos, that was the old den. And this is the room. Now it's going to be one big giant room. So they're working on repairing the walls. They're working on repairing the ceiling. And we're going to have two fans that connect. So that way we have two fans that are um, in the room. They fix that wall over there and then they're still they're going to be coming back and repainting they're going to paint over everything here and paint over the paint the whole ceiling um here's where the old den used to be so all this floor is going to be coming out sorry for the echo but now that it's all like this it echoes in here all the time there's our refrigerator that did the big spill everywhere and did started all this our kitchen is totally gutted um, no cabinets or anything. We're going to be putting in some new cabinetry, kind of changing things up a little bit, and I'll be getting an island back too, and then they'll be fixing my pantry. They did fix the walls. If you remember in a, a recent video, I showed how the walls were gone because they had to remove the walls. Um, those are all replaced. So the walls are back. They did some painting, and it's just a house of construction right now. <laughs> But I have hope because I think they they said they're going to be bringing cabinets in next week. So we're looking forward to seeing some cabinets put back in. And it's going to be just beautiful when it's all done. And we'll have our, our big den now. So this is going to be really nice when it's done. We didn't plan on doing this right now because all of my sons live at home. But... Uh, it's going to be beautiful, and we're excited to see it finished. Anyways, let me turn this back around. So that's what's been going on with the house. That's the update on the house. I'll let you know what I had for breakfast, and I'll be back for lunch and let you know what I have for lunch. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. I'm sitting in my car outside of Panera Bread. I just picked up my lunch, and I wanted to share with you what I got for lunch. I got the you pick two with just a cup of water, the cup of broccoli cheddar soup, the little baguette that they give with it, I'm all squished in here, and then I got the Frontiga chicken panini half sandwich. So it's just half of the sandwich. Um, so this is a big lunch. Lunch today is 805 calories. And my breakfast was 364 calories. So that brings me up to 1,169 calories. So I'm doing okay. I have about, let's see, two, three, four, five, six. I have about 500 calories left for dinner, and that'll be perfect. I'll have a, a smaller dinner than I am having for lunch. I'm having a bigger lunch. Um, and then I just wanted to let you know, I also had our, I also worked out today. So feeling good about that. Got my workout in. So I'm just sitting in my car here. I'm going to eat in my car, guys. But um, I'm eating in my car because I'm actually from here going to go meet my son, Michael. And we're going to go watch the Rambo movie um, at the movie theater. So I figure I'll get a quick lunch in and something kind of healthy, I think. I don't know. It's kind of healthy. So-so. But it's going to taste good, and so far doing good with my calories. I hope you're having a good lunch today, too. And I'll be back in a little bit to let you know what I'm having for dinner. All right, guys. See you soon. Hi, guys. So I'm here for dinner at Sizzler's. We came to Sizzler's for dinner. And I'm getting the shrimp linguine with scampi, which is 640 calories. I will add that up and put it on the screen of how many calories it is in total but I think it's putting me a little over the 1,700 calorie goal. I'll snap a picture of it and let you see what it looks like. But it's 640 calories, not too bad. I'm here with my husband and son. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Well, guys, that's a full day of eating for me. Um, not too bad. Let's see, breakfast was 364 calories, lunch was 805 calories. I probably had a bit much for lunch, but 
I have to say I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was the Panera bread, the Frontiga chicken panini and broccoli cheddar soup and then the baguette that comes with it. And then for dinner, we went out to dinner. We ended up going to Sizzler's and I did have the steak and shrimp scampi with pasta. Um, that was 640 calories. So let me just show you. Let's see. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let's see here. And there it is. So I went over about 100 and, um, 109 calories. So my calorie goal is 1,700 and I hit 1,809 calories. But not eating anything else for today and I did exercise today which helps but um, not too shabby especially for eating out twice today. I ate out Panera for lunch and Sizzlers for dinner so not too bad. Anyways, you guys, that's my what I ate in a day for today. It is Saturday, um, what is it, Saturday, September 28th. So that's what I had to eat for today. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're doing great on your diet. Take care. Bye-bye.